Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you um, and it's nice to be back here shaving. It's been a little while since the last video. Um, if there's anyone new watching to this channel or anyone just recently subscribed, uh, I want to thank you very much and if you're watching for the first time, I hope you enjoy my videos. And to the people that have subscribed, my regular subscribers as I call them, um, thank you very much. You guys know who you are. You're keeping it real uh, supporting Kevy Shaves channel. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, okay, today's shave. A red, white and big blue shave. Well, what does that mean? Okay, uh, let me just show you. I'm going to start the shave with Parasso Red pre-shave, which I have already rubbed into my bristles. Bristles. <laughs> bristles. <laughs> um, any, <laughs> anyone from the UK um, knows that bristles is a, a completely different thing. Um, it's a Cockney rhyming slam. Slam? <laughs> Cockney rhyming slam for Bristol City, uh, which is a soccer team, football team here in the UK. Bristol City rhymes with titties. But I've rubbed it into my <laughs> bristles. Where's this going? Um, okay, Parasso Red pre-shave. Uh, this is a soft sandalwood scent. Very nice. I've rubbed that into the, my bristles, uh, so it's softening them as I speak. The soap for today, oh, surprise, surprise. It's uh, red and white, it's Parasso Red. Uh, this is their take on uh, sandalwood. Did I say barbershop for that? No, it's sandalwood. This is sandalwood and this is sandalwood. Um, yeah, this soap actually comes out the puck, like that, out the tub, sorry, it comes out the tub, well mine does because I take it out after I've used it just to kind of store it like that to let it dry, but it's a, it's a nice scent, if, um, if anyone ever asks me what soap should I start with, I always tell them uh, either Parasso Green, Parasso Red, Parasso White, it's cheap, it's available worldwide. It's a great soap, great scent, great performer. Uh, the razor for today, the Merkur 37C, the slant. You can see the slant on it there. This is a two-piece razor. You twist the bottom like this, and then it comes off like so. And inside that I have an Astra SP, or an Astra Green, which again, um, if someone is looking to start shaving this way, I always point them in the direction of an Astra SP. Just it's a, it's a, it's a good all round blade. So that's the Merkur Slant two piece, very nice. Non adjustable, little bit overhang, great razor. Every time I use this, I always seem to get weepers on my neck, so I don't know. So that's the razor uh, blade, pre-shave, soap. So it's, uh, that's the red and white. As you can see, Parasso red and white. So what is the big blue? Well, this is the big blue. The big blue is the name of the brush for today's shave. Um, big blue is the name of the brush. Uh, this brush actually belongs to Arthur Lamb, a good friend of mine here in Dundee. Thank you for uh, letting me use this in this video, Arthur. Um, it's made by Ian Crichton of IC Shaving Brushes, and here it is here. <laughs> Look at the side of that. It's a 38mm badger knot. Um, I've got quite big hands, and, and look at the size of that handle. It's just massive. I mean, look at it on my face. It's like a, it's almost like a microphone. So we spoke to Kevy Shave today about using the big blue. Kevy, what do you think of it? Fantastic. Um, yeah, so what I'll, what I'll do just now, I'll put this in the water uh, just to get some moisture into it to soak the, the badger knot. Very soft. Uh, and I'll show you some um, footage of this alongside some of the other brushes just for a comparison. Uh, so you guys can take a look at that now and I'll put this in the water and then we'll come back and lather up the Parasso Red. So we'll see you in a moment or two.
Okay, we are back. Um, <laughs> it's a hell of a brush, isn't it? Uh, okay, I've got it soaking here. I've been soaking it for a few minutes just to get the hair softened up. Uh, the thing with a badger brush, you don't have to soak it too long. As with a boar brush, um, the hair is a little bit more stiffer, so maybe uh, a few minutes more for a boar brush to soften it. But uh, a badger bristles, they're quite soft anyway, so just to get water into them. But um, okay, I'm just going to take this out of the water. And then I'm just going to, oh, there's a little hair there. I'm just going to squeeze it to let you see how much comes out. <laughs> That's enough for a bathtub right there. I'll just shake it. Um, and there's the knot. Yeah, it's a nice brush, beautifully made. Really nice, big blue. And uh, it reminds me of, <laughs> this reminds me of Chewbacca for some reason, Chewbacca from Star Wars. Isn't that right? <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's the brush. Uh, it only just fits into this tub. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to actually turn both the tub and the brush at the same time, just to load the brush. Because I don't think it's going to, actually I'm going to dip it in the water a bit and just Get right into this tub. <laughs> it's a massive knot. Yeah, Arthur said to me that he would, uh, this brush is um, ideal for people that have got big heads. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So it's, uh, it's Friday here again. Where has the week gone? Look at this. This is just incredible. <laughs> crazy, crazy, but it's uh, it's loading the soap as you can imagine very easily. That looks about right. Look at this soap here. Okay, let's just uh, get lathered up. I think I'm only going to have like two strokes, and then that'll be it. <laughs> it's very soft. I'm just going to add a little bit more water. Look at the splay on that. <laughs> What's that? This Parasso soap smells great. Yeah, it's very soft. And it whips up the lather, as you can imagine, in no time. here. Merker 37C, the slant with the Astra SP. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so how are you spending your weekend? We have uh, friends uh, visiting from Canada uh, and we're going out for dinner tomorrow night, Saturday night. Which should be good, catch up, not seen them for a while. What do you do for your weekend? The weather here, the sun has just come out, which is nice. Um, I guess those of you in uh, warmer countries, you know, countries where the sun actually shines for more than like a day, uh, you guys will be having barbecues and stuff.
And I'm just going to go this way on my little trouble spot here. Thank you for all the comments on the last video. Uh, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you've uh, if you've left a comment, chances are that I've answered you your uh, question, or not question, just a comment. Okay, that is the first pass done. That was quick. Feels nice. Let me rinse. I will come straight back. It's that rinsed off nicely with warm water. Um, I only use cold water at the end of the shave to close the pores. Um, second pass with big blue. <laughs> I think. Um, half the soaps in the bottom of this knot. I'm just going to dip the tips of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the puck. There we go. That's a better lather. You big greedy monster, you don't want to release the lather. <laughs> what is it now, you big hairy monster? Why won't you release the lather? <laughs> right, that's enough of that. Second pass. Across the grain of my beard with a 37C. Yeah, I always tell, um, as I was saying, if anyone ever asks, uh, say they're about to start shaving this way, I always tell them Parasa soap, either a, a DE89 or a Merker 34C, Edwin Jagger DE89 or a 34C, uh, an Astra Green Blade. and a synthetic brush. And um, if you're just starting out shaving this way, you won't go wrong with that setup. Other than the blade, which is, uh, blades are probably the most subjective thing in a, in a wet shave, a DE shave, I would say. Some people prefer one blade, um, they'll say, oh, this blade is so smooth, so sharp. And you'll ask someone else and they'll say, I didn't like it. It was a, it gave me a really rough shave. Yeah, so, if you are starting out this way, try as many blades as you can. As many different blades and different razors and stuff like that until you find what works for you. And once you do, find what works for you. That's it. You'll be like, oh, that's the blade. That's the razor. That's the brush. That's the soap. You'll just know it feels great. Okay, second pass, done. 
They're very smooth actually. Let me, let me just rinse it and I'll cut it straight. Nice and cleanly rinsed off now. Ready for pass three with big, big blue. <laughs> this brush is uh, it's really nice to use, but I wouldn't like to use it every shave. You know, this would be great for uh, if you if you're a head shaver. Can you imagine just. Whoosh, It would, uh, it would cover your head, no problem. Very nice. Okay, third pass, 37C. Uh, it's all good so far, no issues. But, um, Slant razors are a little bit more aggressive. Just due to the nature of the, uh, the angle of the blade. Uh, and some people might say, well, because of the angle, how do you, do you hold it that way? Do you angle it? No, just keep it um, straight. And um, because the blade is at an angle, it will cut through the stubble at an angle like that. It is, uh, it's just a bit more effective. Yeah, it's a bit more effective at cutting through the hair. meaning a closer shave. At least that's the idea. Well, I hope you've been having some nice shaves and buying more stuff. Not more stuff. I don't buy more stuff. <laughs> and I'm just going to go very gently over this little trouble area here. This soap's very slick, nice and protective. Okay. Let's have a quick feel about. Nice, nice, mm, nice. A little bit there. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Let's do the pickups. Yeah, it's, uh, it's strange why you still get little bits of stubble left, even after going this way, that way, and that way. Um, there will always be little bits that need to, uh, just need going over again, but that's okay. Um, unless, it, unless the shave is getting very uncomfortable, and um, you're getting razor burn with dragging a, a steel blade across your skin. Yeah, by all means keep going. Some people do four and five pass shaves. I probably could, because I love shaving so much, but um, 
these videos would last about an hour. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I don't want to subject you people to that. <laughs> It'd be like, um, yeah, they, they, if I started doing that, they'd, they'd start showing them for like people that got caught shoplifting and stuff. I sentence you to 16 Kevy Shaves videos of five passes or more. No, Your Honour, please! <laughs> okay. Three passes on touch-ups done. Wow. What a shave, amazing. Okay, let me just, uh, look at the water that's coming out of this. <laughs> let me just... <laughs> Scoop the rest of the soap that's in here, and uh, it's very wet. And I will use it as a face wash before my post shave. Someone asked, "How long do I do this for? How long do I rub it into my skin?" Well, I usually just rub it in like this, then leave it, clean the brush and stuff out, soap, then rinse off, then post shave. So that's what I do. So I shall see you in a moment or two for the post shave. Okay. Very nice, very comfortable, no issues, skin feels great. What's not to like? Okay, uh, no witch hazel today, uh, I'm just going to go straight into the aftershave and this is Prazo Red aftershave. This has um, shea butter in it with sandalwood oil and shea oil. Uh, you can see it there. So I'm just going to go for this. This is a beautiful scent. It smells just like the soap. Really nice. Lasts a good on my skin. Three, four, five hours. Not one bit of sting. Oh. Really nice. That's Kevy ready for his uh, special Friday night. Yeah, watching TV. Woo! <laughs> yeah, the rest of the world are out partying and stuff on a Friday. What do you do, Kevy? I watch TV and relax. <laughs> watch shaving videos. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, that feels fantastic. That was uh, Parazzo Red. Yeah, if you haven't had, if you haven't got this, pick it up. It's really nice. Skin feels great. Uh, and to finish it off, the moisturiser, moisturiser? Aftershave balm is a uh, bulldog sensitive. Uh, this is a good balm, you only need a little bit like that. And there's not much of a scent to this, so it shouldn't, um, it shouldn't colour the parasol. You know, the aftershave, it shouldn't um, overpower it. Because there's not much of a scent to this balm. Excellent shave. Really, really nice. And I hope your next shave is as good as this one. Because that was very, very enjoyable, very comfortable. <sighs> I'm very relaxed now. Okay, let's... Uh, show you guys what we have used. Quick recap, we used the Parasso Red uh, Sandalwood Pre-Shave, start the shave off with that. The soap today, Parasso Red. The razor today was the Merker 37C. Very good, as I said before. Um, this has an Astra Green blade in it. It's the, did I say third use on that blade? I think it is. Um, yeah, slant bar. In the past, I've had issues with this razor um, causing me like weepers and stuff down here. And 
<laughs> but today no issues, very comfortable, very light touch. I think I think maybe I was applying too much pressure before, but um, if you just use a very light touch with this razor, it's uh, it'll give you a great shave. That's the razor. The brush today, <laughs> uh, big blue. This is IC shaving brushes, big blue, kindly lent to me by Arthur Lamb. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, 38 millimeter badger brush. Look at the size of this puppy. <laughs> if I'm honest, it's a bit of a lather hog. It doesn't want to release the lather, but <laughs> it was great fun using it. I'll, uh, it will probably take about a week to dry out. <laughs> the size of that knot, look at all those hairs. There's hundreds of them. Uh, very soft. Um, yeah, but it was great to use. Thank you again, Arthur. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I see shaving brushes. Ian Crichton, yeah, very nice. As you can see it there, excellent. We then rinsed off hot water, cold water, um, took this, the remainder of the lather. <laughs> I couldn't think of what it was called there. The lather out of the brush and uh, had a face, face, face wash. Face wash, yes, we had a face wash, Miss Money Penny, yes, it was uh, very enjoyable, you know. Um, then rinsed off with hot and cold water. No wet chisel, the bat of the fa I nearly swore there. <laughs> the aftershave was Parazzo Red. And we finished it off with Bulldog Sensitive Aftershave Balm. Very good. And that, ladies and gents, is it. I'm ready for the weekend. I hope you are. Um, whenever you're watching this, maybe you're watching it next week, Monday, Tuesday, I don't know. Um, anyway. That's all for me for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm happy. Until the next time, when that will be, I don't know. I shall see you soon. Have yourselves a great weekend. Spend it with loved ones, family. Just enjoy it. Enjoy the sunshine if you've got sunshine. And until the next time, I shall see you soon. And I love you all. Take care.